Um, this is another thing we get in trouble with. The NVDs, everyone reckons they change all the time. The last one to change is if you've got to have the last version. See there where it says 13? That's your latest version. And it was just here about oh, 12 months ago where all the, um, the abattoirs and different processes, they wanted to have the latest NVD book. So a lot of the agents got in there and told everyone, you need to have the 13 version. So that's how you tell it's the 13 version, that 1-3 there. And um, I'm trying to think where I can't see there, but they put one little clause in on that and it says, as per the APVMA, which stands for the Australian Veterinarian Medicines, uh, was it Pesticides Association, yeah. So what it, it covers everything. It covers like um, if you're spraying for locusts, it covers if you're spraying weeds, it covers if you're giving your stock penicillin. So that little clause, it just covers everything. So I did ask the other day, they reckon they're not going to change in for a while now because people said, oh, okay, I don't want to order a new book because it might change again. But I think that'll stay pretty well the same for a while. And I suppose the thing is too is now is... Um, you write in here your additional picks. If you're selling sheep, like I, I, when I bought my few old ewes, I got some from two or three different properties. When I need to go and sell my sheep, what I have to do is I have to get their ear tag and just write in there the different the pick numbers. And all it is is to do with tracing disease. So if I sent some in and they found foot and mouth of them, I think, well, you yeah, know, did it come from my place? If I bought them from someone else, it's just, it's just a matter of traceability. So.